I can swear to you guys that I'm not doing this for the money. I'm, I'm not. But yeah, I'm reviewing Hot Rod with Scott again. Now the only reason is because now I've got two. I bought one from someone in the UK, and then I bought the other one from Get Me Collectibles, of course, from the KC that I got on Christmas Day. But yeah, Hot Rod with Scott. He is the third out of the four, let's say, legends that were seen in the movie. To have a hot rod paint job. Of course we are yet to get hot rod Louise Nash. But we are most likely getting her later this year. Along with M. Fast Fong. And Nick Swift. The uh, Spearmint and Rev and Go Next Gens. Which are like the best bases ever. But yeah. Today we'll be taking a closer look at Hot Rod River Scott. He was first um, released in 2021. As you can see. New for 2021. But he was cancelled late 2019. To make way for other die casts. But yeah, of course. There is a heyday version. I do not have that one open, unfortunately. But I do have the Disney store to compare it. But yeah, I will be opening this one up today. But yeah, he was in um, 2021's Singles KC. Of course, which has been popping up in Target stores across the US. Not exactly sure about the UK as of yet. Probably won't be for like another six months at least. But yep. Yeah, we can see this is like one of the boring releases and I'm glad that it got cancelled and then we released just because of how dark the flames are so yeah let's take a look at the packaging now we can see his name tag that reads Hot Rod River Scott little hint there River Scott um, 3 plus Mattel with no paper stickers pretty cool now if you look at his artwork you can see that flames are way much brighter than his paint job I don't know why that is but I guess it's just the printing on the artwork. New for 2021. Novono, Novono. Of course. Cars logo up there. Pretty cool. Horizon Desert Series. Of course, 2021. Metal is the, t is the name now. On the back, we can see other releases such as Pick Remember Fillmore, Donica Cruz, Cafe Copter, Taco, Jimbo, Pile Up, and JD. You could check out my reviews on JD, Taco, I believe Pick Remember Fillmore and Danica Cruz that I've done in the past. Cafe Copter is from Cars 1, so that is a mistake by Mattel. Yep, yeah, we can see that all these cars on the back were seen in Cars 3. Pretty cool, and you can see that it is now made in Thailand. Sick, so I'll be right back with this guy all opened up. So there is a trick to opening the 2021 packages. And if you haven't noticed that um, in my previous few videos, I tend to hurt myself and I cut myself with the blister. Because my thumb is now, now all healed. But the best way to open them is actually from the bottom. Instead of on the sides like I used to. But yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, here is Hot Rod with a Scott all opened up. We know where he appeared. He was in the end credits. Only there for like two or three seconds, but still pretty cool die cast nonetheless. Yeah, taking a look at his history, he is a 1950s piston cup racer. Or was a 1950s piston cup racer. Back in those days, where he raced against Fabulous Hudson Hornet, or Louise Nash, River Scott. Well, himself, he's River Scott. Duke Coulters, Leroy Hemming, etc. Yep, now taking a look at the review. He's got this nice smile here, which is pretty cool. His lights. His grill. On the hood, he's got no decals, of course. We can see on the roof. Um, he hasn't even got his signature this time, which the diecast actually does. As you can see, it says River Scott. Pretty cool. The sides, we could just about see the flames. And I mean, like, just like... Hot Rod Junior Moon, we can see them clearly. And Hot Rod Smokey, we can see them clearly. But the flames that they use for this is like... They could have done the artwork picture, I mean... They're just visible. He's got these red rims. Pretty cool. Can't see what it says, but you can see a closer picture here of the Heyday version. Pretty cool. On the back, 
we can see the license plate that reads MCNC me I'm not exactly sure what that says above it maybe let's get the uh, still can't read it guys let me know you can um, let me know in the comments below but yeah he's also got these holes all these screws here and his windows made in the 42th week so 10 weeks left of 2020 pretty cool made in Thailand of course cool release of course here he is against his regular release he used to have the number 34 and he was all rusted up you can see how much Mattel actually or Chinese Mattel I should say has made so much difference on his die cast you can see the engine in there the expression is different so like this release Here's his hot heyday version from the Disney stores, I should say. The only difference is that he's got 34 on the side instead of his hot wood paint job. And he also has River Scott on the top. Pretty cool. He did also receive a mini release. I believe he was one of the first legends to get released as a mini. But yep, that's all for Hot Rod River Scott today. Hope you guys liked this review. We'll bring them all back now. Junior Moon, Smokey, that wasn't seen in the movie. Let's just hope we get Louise Nash very soon. Regular River Scott. But yeah. Please make sure if you are new, you bring the camera down. Hit that red subscribe button. Thank you for 1.5k subs. It means so much to me. Even though that one guy that's subscribed... Just for the dislikes, it's like, why? Why you've been subscribed? Just click the unsubscribe button if you are watching this. But yep, of course, for you guys that are new, hit that red subscribe button, turn it white. Always leave a like as well. Of course, hit the bell notification button down below so then you can know when my next video is coming out. They're usually out of 5 o'clock BST anyway, so, you know. But yep, to next one. Peace, guys.